it's like you cut a stop at 260. Um, or, you know, 260 over 250, it's like a 4% risk. And then you're looking at a potential downside of like 120 um, over 250. So, like, you're basically doubling your money, right? Okay. Um, so today we're going to talk about Coca-Cola Bottling Co. Consolidated. <laughs> I know it sounds really fun, but um, it's actually a freaking pretty sweet position. I don't look at, you know, I do a lot of, um, because so for the past couple months, and by past couple months, I mean like the past eight months, I've been doing a lot of, like, stock picking, so like, um, and just for, like, an advising basis to, um, to sort of grow, um, because I do my own portfolio stuff, obviously, um, but I don't do a whole lot of stuff for other people, and, uh, so to sort of work towards, like, my overarching goals to help you know, people grow their wealth, um, I decided that would be a good service to start, and, uh, and I've been working with local clients in my community, stuff like that, to just get it going, um, and there's a couple of positions every now and then that come up, um, and, uh, you know, they're just killer, and I found that, like, you know, some of my best positions have been in, like, Flowers, uh, Carvana, uh, stuff like that, uh, where it was just, like, um, you take it as a diversified pick, but, um, you kind of know, like, you know, this is, like, a pretty freaking good, uh, setup. And, uh, and so when you see stuff like that, um, I think it's important to help people out, let them know about it. So, today we're going to talk about Coke. Um, it's not K-O, it's ticker symbol C-O-K-E. And, uh, and it's got a pretty crazy setup, so let's see how we can do this. Um... So, get this right, and we'll probably put this up on the screen or something, but the point is, you've got, uh, like this giant head and shoulders set up where the second shoulder is where we're at right now, and it actually comes up, like, more than the, um, the, uh, the shoulder line, right? So, I had the initial short on this, um, with its shoulder line, and that was at about 220. And, uh, and get this right, they've just extended way, way higher. So they're at like 250 right now, um, which is where I called the second short on it. So looking at um, like a double down position, and it's got super big portfolio waiting because it was already shorted at this first uh, shoulder line on the head and shoulders setup. Um, and now it's so high. And so get this part, right? So you look at the monthly chart. Um, and there's something really cool going on here with the MACD, right? You've got, uh, let me full screen it. You have um, a decreasing MACD, uh, sort of like right around here. And what it does is it makes a trend line uh, that's going to be super tough to, uh, to break, right? So you're looking at that, and it's like just makes sense that it'll bounce off that on the monthly and, uh, and come back down to complete the head and shoulder setup. And then same thing on the weekly, right? Um, is it's just a really big head and shoulder. You got really big peak, really big peak, really big peak, all around the same price level. So, you know, with that, it makes sense that it would bounce off here and complete that head and shoulder setup. And if you look at the bottom of this, it's about like the 120, 125 price level. Um, there's a hander, hammer candle on... Uh, this day at the bottom, um, at that first show at the uh, support level, where we could see it uh, potentially bottoming out as a neckline. Um, it'd be tough, I think, to go below the 120s, uh, I mean, considering it's just such a big company. Um, but I think that's a really nice, you know, price target right there at the uh, bottom of the neckline support. And then at the same time, right, you've got a weekly candle here um, and a monthly candle where you've got this big price drop, so it's like an inverted hammer candle, um, and that's like a pretty strong reversal indicator. You saw it here as a normal hammer candle that reversed, and now that you're here, it's a, a inverted one, so you're looking at potential, like, I mean, that's like an indicator of a reversal. So it's a freaking really strong position on both of those ends. And, uh, and then at the same time, you know, the stochastics look great, they're just like super high. And, uh, and if you look at the long term, it's the same thing. 
So there's not a whole lot of positions that are going straight into stuff like this, where it's like this is obviously way too high. But it's like the downside on a short here, or uh, if you like buy a put, like it might go to 260, and then you'll know that you're wrong if you're wrong. But it's not like, you know. But the only other thing it could do is pop out of that and then go into the 290s um, and above. So it's like you cut a stop at 260, um, or, you know, 260 over 250. It's like a 4% risk. And then you're looking at a potential downside of like 120 um, over 250. So, like, you're basically doubling your money, right? Under 25. So, like, you risk 4% to make, like, 100%. Like, it's a pretty freaking great risk-reward setup. Um, and so that's why, like, in my personal stuff, it's like I'm trying to go really hard on this, go overweight, because, like, it's just freaking, it's an amazing, it's really good stuff. Um, and then, you know, you see the other stuff, too, with, like, uh, percent %B, um, you know, high for sure, but it's really just waiting for this pattern here to complete and come back down. Um, cause fundamentally the company has like negative earnings, um, you know, revenue's down, well revenue's not down, but earnings are, so, or, huh, I guess earnings, yeah, I don't know, they have a negative EPS, and if you look at their financials, uh, you know, they made negative net income, makes me sad, so, you know, they sort of like beat, but like, fundamentally, they've had like the same assets, and uh, you know, just like around the same liabilities, but with the income, it's the same, but on the cash flow state, and that's where you start to see the net income decreasing, so, um, definitely an annual report worth reading if you're interested more in the financials, but um, you know, I see, you know, they pay 0.4% dividend to short this, all you have to do is pay that small dividend, it's a dollar per share. Um, or if you just buy like a put, uh, a put, I mean, you look at the chart, it's like maybe six or eight months, I feel like, um, for this to complete, you know, you're going up, down, up, down, up, down, I'd say like right around here, it's around, you know, October, um, of 2019, where you might see it bottom out again, um, and then that's where you'd cover, so you get like an eight month put on it, or, uh, you know, just put a short position if you don't want to have that kind of risk. Um, but, you know, you put a strike price around like 170 or... I mean, that's gonna... The only problem is uh, you can't trade um, puts because uh, Coke consolidated. Uh, they don't... They're not... They don't, you can't trade options for them just because they're not listed on options exchanges. So, kind of sucks. Uh, so, the only thing you can really do is short it. Um, so, I'm trying to get some short shares in. I had about 15-18% of my overall port, say about 15%, yeah. So it's an overweight position, and we talk about diversification in the book, um, taking like a 5-7% to 7 average position size for long-term portfolios. I see this as like an 8-month pick, like an 8-month position, um, and I kind of understand like the risk uh, upside versus downside on it. And so once you really start to understand those fundamentals and those technicals, that's when I think you can start to manage uh, your portfolio a little more aggressively to the extent that, like, you need to know what you're doing beforehand, right? So, you know, it comes with an experience, the ability to, you know, take an overweight position like that. But when you have, you know, specifically with, like, a medium to long-term portfolio, and it's like you see such strong risk-reward and then such a strong technical setup, and then alongside the fact that it's already, it was super extended already, and it's just gone even further. Um, you know, it, it brings positions like that really high into, you know, your frame of reference. Like, this freaking matters. Probably, probably short the stock. <laughs> uh, so it's really cool. It's stuff to deal, I don't know. I got everything going through my mom's account. So, um, she, it's, it's a cash account, which it wasn't supposed to, it was a margin account. And they took it off. I don't know what they did with it. So, just trying to get that stuff sorted out, um, so that we can get a short position before it crashes back below like 230, 200. Um, because you know, like that would really affect your percent gains. You're looking at doubling your money here if you shorted at the top, which is th the strat, right? So, good position. I'd take a look at it. 
freaking like good stuff. Thanks guys. Have a good one.